Hi everybody, Andrew Rice here, Western Savannah Harbor, practice tea, lovely day. I wanted to share some information today discussing something you may have heard well-known golf instructors talk about online and that is the term getting open at impact. A, what does that mean? And B, why do we need that? Why is that a preference amongst so many golf instructors, so many professional golfers that we see on TV? Why is that a preference and how is that going to help? So firstly, what is it? I'm going to use this golf ball here for my down the line ball. What does it mean? It means that the player is getting their hips and their chest to a lesser degree open relative to the golf ball i.e. rotated relative to the golf ball at impact. We see that in almost all tour players, some more than others, uh, but all of them have their hips open a certain amount and their chest and shoulders open a certain amount. PGA Tour average, I use K-Vest, PGA Tour average is hips 45 degrees open, I believe chest is 20 degrees open. So they're open a certain amount. Now the question is why do we want that? And I think this is the important question. Why do we want that? In talking with Sasha McKenzie and a lot of other smart people, here's what happens. When the body is rotating going through impact, it makes it significantly easier for the golfer to manage the face angle. Manage the face angle. So think about this, we've all seen this impact position where the shoulders in fact are slightly to the right of the target, the hips haven't rotated very much, and this golfer is forced into a situation where they've got to rely on timing. They've got to roll their hands through impact. They can hit very good shots doing that. The hard part is that repeatability consistency factor. That goes out the window when you've got to rely too much on timing. And so by getting open at impact, you're going to be able to manage the club face angle at impact, which is the reason why we hit straight shots and why we hit not straight shots. The primary reason, you're going to be able to manage that coming into impact better. Now, I've done it, I'm guilty of this, and I've seen just about all the other golf instructors who talk about getting open say, you need to have certain things in place in order to be able to go ahead and get open. Now, I'm going to talk about the three primary things that we need to have in place in order to get open. So stay patient, settle in, let's get to it. First, we need to have the shaft in transition, in the early part of transition. I need to see the shaft have a little bit of that action. I need the shaft laying down. And here's why, if I want to get open, I need to have that shaft in a good position in the early downswing. The most common swing fault that I see on my lesson tee here in Savannah is what I call lightning rod. That shaft gets very vertical. And what do we need to do from there in order to get the club head out of line with the handle? We get, we stand up, we push the arms away, we get the club into the inside, but look at what's happened to the face. Now I've got to go ahead and rely on that timing. So with a vertical shaft in transition, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to go ahead and rotate correctly coming into impact. So ideally, we're going to look for a transition whereby the shaft is laying down. The mass of this golf club is inside the hands on the way down. Number two, the club face. If a golfer, and it's very difficult to tell on video, it's very difficult to tell how should the club face look at this point in the downswing? Is that too open? Is that too closed? What, what's correct? I would go based on ball flight. If you're somebody who struggles hitting it to the left, um, if you're somebody who struggles hitting it to the right, adjust your club face accordingly. And how do we need that to occur? When looking from face on, on the way down, if my club face is typically overly open, you're going to see that look coming into impact. You're gonna see a lot of scoop. There's gonna be some throw in the late stages of the downswing, all in an effort to get the club face around. If 
your club face is overly closed, you're gonna see lots of drive as your hips try to outrace that closed club face, lots of handle getting forward, and you'll see very little, or certainly not enough, rotary action with the body in order to manage that club face correctly. So we need the face in order and the way we're going to do it, keep in mind you can influence the club face a lot more with your wrist angles than you can with your grip angles. So understand we don't need to get into the grip too too much. Yes let's get it in the fingers, let's get it correctly seated in the hand, but I would love to see that wrist angle on the way down be, that lead wrist be slightly flexed to flat and that's going to give us that best opportunity to get the face in place at this point in the downswing so that we can rotate, 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 rotate and manage that face through impact and ultimately be more consistent, be more predictable. Number three, lead arm depth. Best viewed from down the line. We get up to the top and we have a player who, let's say they've shallowed the club Brooks Kepka does a little bit of this. They've shallowed the club, they've got their lead wrist in position, and they get that lead arm too far. Brooks Kepka doesn't get it too far. They get that lead arm too far out. What needs to happen? We've got to get this lead arm to retract, and the best way for us to do that is to do some standing to quit rotating so that this arm has the ability to get back in closer to our body. Now we get in a bind again, where our body, our chest, our hips have not rotated enough, and we've got to rely on that timing. So the objective, let's get open at impact. Why? So that we can manage the face angle that much better through impact. PGA Tour players typically do it to certain in varying degrees, some a lot, some a little, but they all do it. And how are we going to do that? How are we going to assure that we have the ability, that opportunity to get open at impact and manage the face better? Number one, I'd love to see the shaft. I don't mind if you have a long swing or a short swing, but either way, in early transition, I want to see that shaft laying down. Number two, I would love to see you maintain control of the club face via wrist action. Don't let that face get overly open because now we're going to have to stall our rotation and throw the hands at it. And number three, watch for getting the lead arm overly deep or overly out in the early part of the downswing. If you can get your lead arm by the time it's parallel to the ground, slightly inside the target line, you're going to be in pretty good shape. You shallow the shaft, get that lead wrist, that face in order with that lead arm in place. Now you are primed to go ahead and rotate and when you do that you can really manage the face. I hope this information helps clarify a few things for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you do like this, please share it with a buddy who you know might need it. Cheers.